The Bible says it's not up there far that we should get him down. It's not under the earth that we should bring him up. But it's in my heart. And when I confess him, he is with me. With my heart I believe. With my mouth I confess unto the thing that I desire. That's why the Bible says, I call the things that are not as if they are here. It is by faith that I release certain things. It is by faith that I call my promises. It is by faith I release His blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is by faith. And by faith, I bring the heavens close by. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's by faith I experience Him. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Say the necessary fruit that Jesus had in mind. Not what people have got in mind. I mean, what Jesus had in mind. I mean, I mean. So, um, he was not happy with the temple, so he was cleansing the temple like he's doing today. He's cleansing his house as well. And he's cleansing our hearts so that we might produce fruit that will please him. And that we will pr present to him the fruit that he desired. In Jesus' name. Like the fig tree, he came up to the fig tree, was looking for fruit, knowing very well it was not the time for figs, but the time of leaves, the season of leaves. But he came to look for figs. And when Jesus is coming, the creator of the universe, he's expecting to fight, find fruit from you that he desired because he's the creator. That shows us that we need to fall in with him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That you know, I remember when I was in school, there were some matric boys that um, was now three years almost in matric. They did not look like boys anymore. They did not pass their grades. They did not pass their matric. So some of them really said, we're sitting in matric for, for the third year. But they did not pass their grade. So they were sitting in school and in the church of Jesus, there is many times people who did not pass their grades and is acting, they, they, they still in matric, but they're supposed to already be a, be a fruit long ago. Now Jesus said, it is to my Father's glory that you be a fruit and fruit at last. Amen. Amen. So this is a season when Jesus will come up to you and he will start to look for fruit from you. Like he came to Israel. I mean, he gave Israel many, many years to produce fruit. And he came in his day to the temple to look for the fruit. He gave them many years of preparation. They should have been at the place where they produce fruit. But he find none in that temple. Do you think Jesus was happy? Do you think if Jesus came to the church today and he gave people so much chance to grow and grow... And they did not pass their grades. They, they're still in matric. They, they are ir a irritation to many other Christians because they know it all. You cannot tell them anything. So is many Christians and so was old Israel. So Jesus came to Israel. Now the fig tree represents Israel. The fig tree always represents Israel. He came to the Israelites looking for fruit, knowing that God has disciplined them in the desert, disciplined them by sending them to Babylon, thinking that His discipline and fire would cleanse them. But He comes and saw, and I read the other day in Ezekiel, that not even my fire has cleansed you. Some Christians are like that. Not even the severe, most severe fire of God can cleanse them. Say to the guy next to you, you should not be like that. Like that matric, who's sitting in matric for three years. Understand what I mean? He's so a long Christian now. He can even teach me, but he's still sitting here. That's why you struggle with people like that. They know it all, but actually they failed their grades. So they know it all, but their character have failed the test of God. You can know it all in your mind, but if your character is not lining up, you're failing that grade. Say to the guy next to you, don't stay in matric all your life. But go on to university. Go on to be useful, producing fruit for Jesus. 
So it was the same case with Israel. He came to look for fruit. He did not find any. And he's the creator, so he can, he can uh, ask for, for, for fruit, even if it's the season of leaves and not fruit. Amen. Say to God next to you, when the king wants fruit, you should produce him with fruit. 